Kenya relies very heavily on tourism. The tourists who come to Kenya, the first species that they would want to see are the lions. If we look at African continent, lion population has actually decreased by half in the last 20 years. They are of natural importance because the population is not dwindling just globally, but also reducing at a high rate in Kenya. One of the major threats to wildlife, and specifically lion, is uh, habitat loss. Most of the protected areas are becoming smaller and smaller, and the connectivity between them are disappearing. For that reason, human-wildlife conflict is intensifying. Predators like lion interact more with pastoral communities. There is a lot of lion killing because of retaliation by communities whose livestock are being predated by lion. We have also seen cases of communities poisoning carcasses of livestock that have been predated upon by lion. So there is a lot of pressure that is facing lion today. In Kenya, we estimate about 2,000 lions. This estimate has been around for the last eight or nine years. And this number is derived from different census that happens across the country using different methods. The problem with aggregating these numbers is that you end up getting numbers from census that are not reliable. We think that it is time to look at the population again and validate it using a sound scientific method. WWF Kenya and many other stakeholders working in conservation came up with the most reliable method to estimate lion census. Partially explicit capture-recapture method. What it heavily relies on is to try and identify every single individual lion that you find as you're doing the census. Doing the census is a nice experience because we go camp in the field, we get that experience of just staying there in the bushes. There's challenges in doing the survey. It's a large area to be covered. Sometimes we are like, I'm not sleeping today. We have not seen lions for two consecutive days. We are saying, they will stay up to listen to the lions, and tomorrow we head to the direction where I hear them. Finding the lions was quite some time without locating any. You we are so thrilled. When we spot a lion, we try as much as possible to stay calm. That is not to scare the lions if they are resting. I have to take ID photos for each individual. That is the left side of the whiskers and the right side, and also any other mark which is unique, like broken teeth or some scars on the face, because they will help with the identification of the lion. Spot whiskers are different for each individual lion that you see. They are almost used as a human fingerprint, so you can identify one individual from another. Our idea is to use this method across Kenya and then to verify whether the 2,000 estimate that we have had is actually true or not. You are able to look back and see whether your conservation efforts have paid fruit in terms of increasing the number of population of the species that you are conserving, but also to be able to use the census numbers to plan where you are going to put your conservation effort. So we would be able, for example, to map areas where we experience high human line conflict so that then we can focus our interventions. I think if we take decisive action now and we ensure that communities understand that lions are important for them and that they can also improve their livelihoods and we try to address the challenges around retaliatory killing and the challenges around conservation, I am positive that lion population will go up.